everybody. I am here today to talk to you about the Planket. Now, I was sent this Planket for a review. Um, the, the purpose of it is to cover uh, containers or your landscaping or whatever um, before frost. It protects from late frost or early frost, but not hard freezes. And of course, since I'm in Texas, it's really, I can't review it until oh, mid to late November. So I want to introduce it to you today and then I'll do my full review with pictures and everything like I usually do after we get our first frost. So here's a picture of it and I was sent several different sizes to be able to show everybody what they look like. Um, the first size I'm going to show you, this was the smallest size, it's an 8 footer and what they recommend is that these little ones are great for um, container plants. Now I have a very sad looking container over here, but I'll be planting it with say pansies and that sort of thing. Um, and then I can use the planket to cover it so that it'll last for several more weeks than I would get if I didn't use it. So you can see it has a little weight kind of right in the middle of it. That's going to help hold it down. The weight holds it down? Well, so it doesn't blow away, but look, it's not so heavy that it's going inside the container itself. Hmm. Um, and it's got a drawstring on it. Oh, it's like a grill cover. Yeah, like a grill cover. I like a little skirt that we can just... Well, you can see that I'm going to have to fiddle with it quite a bit because my container is really small at the end. But it does draw right up. And it might take me five minutes to get it small enough. You know, when I was doing this and Dave walked out, he said, wow, that's really quality. We've bought row covers before that are really flimsy. But this is a very substantial, you can't see my hand through it. Um, I'm but, but poking. I'm surprised that it's pretty light. It is light. You can see the light coming through it. Now, is this going to burn my plants if I leave it on after the sun comes out? I, re I really don't know. Okay. I haven't used it yet. Right. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you the big size so you can see how giant it is. Now you know we're real gardeners because we have a hose on the ground like that. Yeah, exactly. So this is the 10 foot by 20 foot size. And it's pretty much gigantic. I was impressed that it has grommets in it and they sell the little stakes. It's like a tarp. Yeah. Well, now. Yeah, I know. Actually, that fits perfectly in there. Yeah. Yeah, a little mallet. Right. With the row covers that I've bought before, I've had to be creative on, you know, how to... It's just a piece of fabric is all you get. Yeah, right. That's nice. Yeah. I like it. And so you can tell um, that it is sturdy enough to even hold a grommet because other row covers... Seriously, can you imagine trying to put a grommet in a little white dinky thing? I'm not going to do that. I well, would never do that. it would never work. It would rip right through it. Yeah, right. So that's how strong it is. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that can is... you tear it? Well, I would have to work really hard, but we can try. No, you were able to tear off a piece of it. I could tear it. All right. But I had to pull decently hard. All right. It'd take a pretty hard wind to blow that thing apart. I, I think so. I don't think wind could do it. Mm -mm. Now, I was excited to try this because last year at this time, I bought a pomegranate. And I asked, I was a little bit nervous about buying a pomegranate because it's not particularly hardy for us. Um, but the, the lady said, well, it'll work for you, but if you could cover it in the winter time, you'll probably get fruit. Now, I really want the fruit. That's why I got the pomegranate. Of course. So, now I get to test that. And so, my helper and I are going to show you how we're going to cover our little pomegranate tree. Very good. That's a good looking barn. It's a good looking bowl. Oh, yeah. Is that the pomegranate tree? This is the little baby pomegranate. Now that plant did get bit by frost last year. Well, and it died all the way back. I know. Not get fruit. I would have liked to have had this uh, 
snazzy thing. Look at that. Yeah. Because it's not going to go all the way around. Um, but you can also see how the drawstring at the bottom is going to keep it from flapping around. See if you can see from this side. Here. You're really going to have to fiddle. Hold it down on the other side. With drawing it up. Pomegranate's thinking, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. This but pomegranate's a bit big for this. Uh, for the full deal, we're going to have to definitely get the bigger size, I think. Use the bigger size for the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but something smaller, this would still be good for. In giant containers, and even still rows, because it lays flat, even though it's got this string, it lays flat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's it. I look forward to trying it. But I wanted to give other people a chance to um, to check into it, too, because, well, you can see that it is more quality than the cheap ones that I've run across at the big box stores. I don't mind saying that as far as frost protection, this is the nicest thing I've seen. Now, how much are they paying us to... No, I don't get paid for this. <laughs> So. I just get to keep the blankets. <laughs> so they did send you the blankets. They send me the blanket, but I do not get paid, and I get to give my honest opinion. So if you hate, so if you hated it, you would have said so. If I hated it, I would have said so. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm pretty impressed by it, actually. Yeah. I like it. I, I, I think it's pretty snazzy. Okay. Well. All right. See y'all later. Bye. <laughs> Say bye bye. <laughs> the monkey's saying bye bye. <laughs> All right.